Here's my new rope walker climbing system. What I have attempted to do, what I think I have done, is make a rope walker that's capable of doing everything that needs to be done in a cave that has technical rigging and being small, lightweight, and cheap. So I'm going to show you how well it climbs up rope. Now, the system essentially is a Texas climbing system, which is great for doing technical stuff. In fact, I think it's the best for doing technical stuff, but that could be debated. But it's about the worst to climb on. You have this would be your Texas climbing system. It's almost like an inverted frog system. You have a low cinder that puts on, puts, you put on your foot down here, and then you have your upper ascender, which catches your progress. The addition to the Texas, what I've at, or what I've added to the Texas, is a bungee cord for your lower ascender which goes over the shoulder, a chest roller made from parts from Lowe's for $20, and a foot panting, which is common nowadays. Here is a Texas system, and I will show you a little bit about it, but that's already a known system that's been used with knots forever, with prusik knots. Texas system is what I mainly use if I need a system to drag all the way into the back of the cave or anywhere and to only do like a 50 to 100 foot pit. And if you want it smaller, you can even replace your hand ascender with another basic, and you can use smaller cord. But a Texas is the smallest system, just about the smallest system you can make. But like I said, it is the hardest to climb on as well. That's the Texas system great thing about it is it's not bad to down climb up. So if you want to keep things to an absolute minimum, you don't even have to bring a descender. You can just down climb. But that's the Texas system. Essentially, what I've done is put a bungee cord that goes over the shoulder onto your knee height ascender, your foot ascender, added a frog style panting, what people have been using on a frog at least, to the, your other foot, and then you have a chest roller that goes onto rope right here. And now you have the efficiency of a rope walker. For all those people never used a rope walker. This is why I like using the rope walker. That's why I like a rope walker. That's why I like this system is now I'm on a Texas. And I can down climb, I can do any that knuckle one either very easy. In a second, I want to climb very efficiently and fast. Pick in the panting and your chest roller. And I can climb very fast. Very easy. Now back to the tennis. Oh. 
well might that be quicker, but... So that easy. Now one great thing about the rope walker, which is very useful in certain caves, is you can climb completely hands-free. You don't have to push anything up with your hands. You can have your hands out holding you away from walls or doing whatever it is you want to do with your hands. If you want to do hands-free, just get one of your extra carabiners, clip it into your chest harness, and use it to push up your uppers. Then you can climb all day long hands-free. If you get to something that you need to do in the rope, like a replay, essentially you can just take this off, kick your panting off, which normally is really quick, and here's your cow's tail, and you can cross the replay. You don't actually have to take your bungee off. You can either do put it down to the side, or you can even leave it on, because on the Texas, you're not really tensioning it. But now you can cross anything that you need to cross in the way pretty easily. And to do a changeover, here's what you do. You go down to your Texas, put your foot ascender up pretty high, break your rack in or whatever you use. And at least somewhat tie it off. It's not a full tie off, I know, but... And then you just lower down onto it. And now I'm on the rack. That's that's it. That's all there is to it on a changeover. It's the easiest system to do a changeover on. And if you want to go the other way, you just clip your cinder up high, put your leg up, clip your other cinder, and climb out of your rack. Now I've unloaded the rack. Very easy to do a changeover. Quicker than about anything, quicker than anything.